Hi everyone, it's your girl Felicia. Hi Felicia. Today we're gonna make string bean casserole my way. And there's only four ingredients. And that is the French style green beans, the French fried onions, the cream of mushroom, and guess what? The next ingredient is cheese. Say cheese, please. So let's get to it. So you're gonna need a pan, whatever size you wanna put it in. And so I'm using 11 by nine. So next you're gonna take your, your green beans The green beans, and you're gonna place it in your own pan. Make sure you cover it. And we're gonna do layers. And you know, when I used to make string bean casserole years ago, I used to follow that direction, and it came out like soggy. And so that's why I said I'm doing it my way my way it is not the only way but this is my way and it's really good so i got that bottom part covered really good so next we're going to use some cream or mushroom you could use any kind but i tried to use the best can that i like so you're gonna that's your next layer Make sure you cover it. It's that creamy goodness. Cream. Mushroom. So I cover that. Next, you're going to get your French fried onions. And I like to, you can sprinkle them over, uh, cover those top. So once you got that pretty good layer, next you're gonna come back with your cheese. And you're gonna start laying the cheese on top of that. That cheese try to get away from me. It's not getting away. Not today. So we just gonna lay this cheese all across the top. You don't have to use sliced cheese, but for me, the sliced cheese is better and it mix well with the onions that's in here. And so we're gonna do another layer. And so you just do the green beans and then you're gonna do the cream of mushrooms, onions, and then cheese. 
And when I do the next layer, I'll be back. Okay, we back and this is how it should look. And it's ready to go in the oven. You can set the oven at 350 degrees. But for my cheese, I don't want it to get real burnt on the top. So I, I already cut out me some parchment paper. And I'm going to lay it on top. Now I'm going to take me some aluminum foil. And I'm going to cover it. Get it up real good so when it's in the oven, if it's, it won't spill out. Or you can set a cooking sheet pan in the oven and set it on top so you won't have any spills in your oven. So now this is ready to go in the oven. Again, at 350 degrees and for about 30 minutes. And we'll be back. Okay, we back, and I'm going to take the aluminum foil out, and the parchment paper, see it's not that much cheese sticking to it. So I'm going to give you a better look at it. See how it looks? Cream on top. You can add more cheese or less. Um, depending on your oven, you can cook it at 30 degree. I mean, 30 minutes or 20 minutes. And so it's an easy recipe, and it only take four ingredients. And so that's all what we have for today. So I hope you enjoy this recipe, and you have a great and blessed day. This is your girl, Felicia. Bye.